Every great team is built in the postseason. A lot of the teams go out and get some very high free agents, others trying to make trades to make their team better. But the postseason is where you build your team from scratch. This is where you start from. This is when you start the season 0-0 and you have complete control of your destiny. The World Series last year went to the Yankees in 2019, but we're turning the page on that chapter. As the Royals GM, we made great strides in getting to the playoffs, but we fell short of what we thought we could do. This season, we're starting by making some big changes in our front office. We're also making some big changes as far as our team's rosters go. In this episode, we'll go over what we do in the postseason, as well as some of the retirees. Make sure you stick around and find out what we do. So to start off, a contract with our manager has ended and we have five days to negotiate contracts for people in the 2020 season. And then if we don't get them, they will be free agents. The qualifying offers we don't have to really worry about because we don't have anybody big enough that we're going to even send a qualifying offer for. So let's start out with our retire people. Royals lose one guy, Winston Abreu is 41 years old. We're not really worried about that, but some big names to retire is gonna be CC Sabathia is gonna retire. Hanley Ramirez, also a pretty big name. Nelson Cruz gonna finally retire 69 overall. As you can see, his attributes dropped drastically last year. So he's retiring from the Twins, going down further. Anibal Sanchez actually retiring as well at 36 years of age. Tony Sip also going to retire. Rasha Davis retiring at the age of 39. I wasn't even sure he was still there, but yes, he was retiring at the age of 39 for the Mets. Going down through the retirees, Adam Wainwright retiring at the age of 38. So he's finally done with baseball. Decided to call it Drew Butera. Played a couple seasons with the Royals. He's retiring as a Rocky. Good for him. Jose Batista is finally retiring. Some of these people, I don't even know their names. Eric Ibar retiring. Jose Batista retiring. We'll see if he comes back again. He's at 39 years of age. So I wouldn't think he would stick around for too much longer. But you never know with him. Joey Bats has had a great career. I'm sure he will be close to making it into the Hall of Fame. Going down through your Bartolo Colon down here. Chatwood down here. Not able to get picked up in the free agent market. A bunch of these guys down here not able to be picked up by the free agent market. Matt Holliday retiring at the age of 40. Wow, about time. I didn't realize he was that old. Going through, Ichiro Suzuki finally retiring as he did it in real life. He will also retire in the game, 46 years of age, huge career for him. So that's gonna do it for our retirees. And 2019 inductees are Albert Pujols and Ichiro Suzuki, definitely both earning the right to being inducted to the Hall of Fame. Albert Pujols had a great year had a great career with 634 home runs, almost 2,000 RBIs. You saw Ichiro's numbers with hits. Absolutely crazy career for both of them. Going to our exclusive free agents, we have Alex Gordon at 36 years of age, 76 overall. We also have Homer Bailey in there as well, both of which we're not going to really offer them anything. We're gonna offer them a smaller contract, Going to our managers, we are not going to be bringing back Ned Yost. I don't, not necessarily that he had a bad year, but as a GM, we are always looking to make our team better. And I think a change at head coach would be the best solution. So we're gonna go through and look for managers that are really, really young. We're wanting to bring our team in young. I have decided through the through the postseason that I am not going to, we're gonna to try to make a World Series run, if not this year, next year. We, we made it to the postseason, and but we did a lot better than what our team necessarily is. We don't have the greatest team, we don't have the greatest players, but they all seem to play out of their mind last year. So we can't really 
expect them to do that next year. They can't really expect to easily make it into the playoffs like we did last year. So we're looking at some young head coaches because I want to bring our players along in our minors, get them to the majors and have them play well. So Tom Kell is 39 years of age. We're gonna offer him a contract. He has not ever been a major league manager, so his record is zero and zero. But I think he has what we are looking for with plate vision, plate discipline, uh, pitching clutch, and stealing. He's going to help us with the stealing. So we're going to offer him a contract of two years, $750 million. We'll wait to see back from him whether or not he wants to be our manager. So as I said earlier, Alex Gordon wanting the qualifying offer, we're not going to give him the qualifying offer, but we will make him an offer. We want him to stay as a role. He has been a role his whole career. So even though if he's not necessarily playing every single day, which the role we are gonna have him not playing every single day, but we are going to give him a contract offer that he will accept um, kind of whatever necessarily whatever money we can yes it's 4.5 million he probably doesn't deserve it but he's a Royals for life we're gonna keep him as a Royal for life so we're gonna offer him the contract as well going to our pitching staff I don't like how our pitching did last year I don't think it was up to par um, we're going to try to make some moves this year, maybe this postseason even, to try to get some better pitchers in um, while still bringing up our pitchers from the farm. So we're going to go ahead and switch out our pitching coach. We're going to make an offer for a young guy named Alberto uh, Lincoln. He's looking for the $1.1 million a year, and we're going to offer him two years at $2.5 million for our pitching staff. So we'll wait to see in the next episode if they come back. Also, we're going to make some moves here at the end of the season. We're going to send uh, Bubik down to AAA, Jorge Lopez down to AAA. Gabriel Littleton is our rookie coming in. So looking at him, he has 69 overall. He's got the A potential, 19 years of age. So he's going to fit in our AAA. We do ha have our new players that we drafted from last year. So they are now on our roster we'll take a little look at them but uh herbert Littleton was our number one guy 19 years of age 69 overall a potential excited for him some of our younger guys hershizer uh coming in at 19 years of age as well solace was another guy we picked up our relievers young guys we're sending kind of down we're trying to make the roster as we go right here trying to see what we have what we lo are looking for in the preseason we do have the free agent market coming up so we'll kind of decide now what who we want in the free agent market if we want anybody who we need to improve with who that type of thing so mario costa another guy we got 18 years of age got the d potential so we're going to put him in double a see if possibly he can come up to a higher potential Tyler Johnson coming up to triple our closing pitchers I'm not gonna do anything our catchers we did get a brand new catcher Salvador Perez obviously done from the injury coming back to the majors we might be moving around some young catchers here Sammy Rodriguez our draft pick that we got this year he comes in at 18 years of age 61 overall with B potential so we're definitely gonna have him start him out at double A and we're going to move a couple of guys around we have four catchers right now on the 40 man which is a little high we're probably only gonna need three we're gonna need for sure two in the majors two in triple A two in double A so with Salvador coming up, we're gonna have to make some moves at catcher. Going to our first baseman. I'm not gonna mess with anything right there. Our second baseman, um, Xavier Edwards, probably gonna go up to AAA here to at least start this season. We're gonna need a couple more second baseman. I would like to have more. Alec Bohm, gonna start the season at AAA. Gutierrez, we're gonna drop down to AA. We might even try to place him on the waivers to get him off 40 man. Um, not sure exactly what we're going to do. I don't know if people are going to actually pick him up, but we'll make the decision later. 
Short stops. Uh, Bobby Wood Jr., 19 years of age, 67 overall, still has an A potential. So we're actually pretty good as far as our short stops goes. Uh, Nick Gordon having a great year last year, improving a lot from his year. Uh, Barilla, we're going to send down to double A. He's 19 years of age. Another guy we picked up through the season. Um, left field is uh, it's up it's up right now. Um, Gore, we're going to put on, take out of that 40 man. We're going to remove him from the 40 man. Hopefully we can clear up a spot there. I don't know if anybody will take him. Josh Naylor going to start the season at AAA. Marcus Wilson at AA right now. Going to center field, French Cordero, Nick Senzel getting the nods at the majors there. Um, we did get a couple of uh, people throughout the year. Moniak played very, very well. So he is going to start the season at double A. Uh, moving guys around, this will obviously change throughout the season. This will change probably before we even start the regular season. But that's what our starting looks at right now. I like where we're at. I think we need to improve in our pitching. I also think that we need some young bats to come up and make an impact. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button. Comment down below on who you think we should kind of go after, who you think, what the positions you think we should go after in the free agent market, and I will see if I can make that happen. Till next time, slacker out.